What's going on guys? So you guys have been asking for this video for quite some time and really it's been a while since I did a proper Shoki Cave room tour or update video because I did one back in 2016 when first moved in and had everything set up. I did an update in 2018 and then last year I did minor updates and stuff but you watch the room evolve if you've been around a while. Ever since I got the billies, completed the tolf wall, stuff like that. But now that my room is organized and stuff, and uh, I cleaned it for my birthday party the other night, <laughs> it is good to go so I can actually show it off for the time being. But for right now, this is the outside of the wall, or the cave, and starting with this old school Star Wars comic uh, plaque thing that the wifey got me when we first got together. I don't think it was Christmas or anything, and I've said this almost every time I've done one of these. So this is one of the very first things she ever bought me. She knew I was a nerd. She didn't like Star Wars. I think she and my mom went to Michael's and got that. Now, things that are different from the previous room tour. I have some artwork up here. Now, if you guys have went around long enough, you've seen me review this stuff. It is from Brent Woodside and uh, Kayla Woodside as well. Normally, I get these things at the uh, Texas Renaissance Festival, but unfortunately they weren't there this year, so I have to find a better way to pick up the latest pieces that they did. So I've got Money and Falcon on Jakku, I believe. Yeah, it's Jakku, because that's the updated thing. Then we got a Yoda on Dagobah and stuff like that. We have Star Destroyers in Profile, and then Mal with the Serenity, because Firefly is awesome. So we'll start here at the door and you can of course see my shadow. This should look familiar <laughs> if you were here for 2018 thing. And I do have dog tag from Full Metal Alchemist. This is one of the very earliest quickie reviews that I did when I was cleaning out Hastings as they were shutting down. And it's just there as door decoration. <laughs> I used to have some other stuff there, but that took over. Now, if we turn here, there used to be a poster here of Jack Douglas and Vincent Sear from the Great American Debate. I took that down to continue my artwork wall. So, more uh, Brent Wood side. And then I've started, like you see the screw here, I started for the next section. I have more things framed and ready to go. I just haven't put them up yet. Come down the door, you see one of my old pool cues from when I used to play all the time, and Tense Zengetsu, there for guard purposes. And then also curtain rod that we've had sitting here forever, along with some artwork that I've purchased in the past. Fantastic original piece here from, I unfortunately can't remember the guy's name. And then a couple prints, or uh, not prints, but things there. And then my Tom Sansucci car things that I've had ever since my first apartment. Um, I had four, uh, unfortunately one of them broke uh, and it's packed away along with my large, actually my large one is, oh yeah, so what's that right there is actually, hold on, I have to shrink my tripod real quick. Couldn't function, the tripod was up too high. So actually this right here is my large Corvette poster. Uh, so one day that will get hung back up. Another thing we have down here is some shadow boxes I was working on there with my World of Nintendo figures. I actually abandoned this idea, so um, I'll find a way to use those for something else. I'm actually going to be getting rid of most of those World of Nintendo figures. Ow, I just stood up into my table. And then we have my Perfect Grade Millennium Falcon, my webcam on uh, thing. That's not the one I use now. That's my backup one. Uh, several kits in a box along with some spare parts and then what remains of my Nintendo wall So I have my Mega Man 8-bit 2 packs. I also have the Mega Man single packs um, And then the Mario Donkey Kong Mario and Peach and then Mario Bowser and then the little old-school Game Boy Advance Mario that unboxing art sent me a while back and then up here We have the piece that James Montgomery did for me that I commissioned a long time ago and then, of course, as you walk in the room, you're greeted by my old Blackberry hung here. Unfortunately, it's crooked. I'm going to, like, wheel it, get it back in the thing. And then coming over here, we have the Halo Tolf. So we've got Master Chief on top, along with the spider, a little spider friend. And then 
my custom Deadpool money. Mod Podge that the wife uses on things. It's, it shouldn't be in here, but it is. And then a leftover uh, white link that I found randomly at a Walgreens. And a little Master Chief that I picked up from Target. And my uncle gave me this Johnny Lightning Himikuda a long, long time ago. Not in a galaxy far, far away. And then you have my Halo Tolf that you guys have, should have seen for my room upgrades with all my Halo Xboxes, with the exception of my Xbox One for Halo 5, and then my legendary stuff as it goes. And then coming back this way, I have to be careful where I walk because I'm walking backwards. So that is half of my normal uh, review and building table. Obviously, it's a circle. If you guys watch the build log for when I did that, you could see it. Go way back, search for that. A couple comics I picked up recently. My new age figures that I need to review, tools, power supply, Archie, and box of other tools and paints and everything else in there. It's just crammed full. It used to be almost nothing in there. Now it's crammed full. And speaking of the table, if you come around here, you see the other half of the table, which is where I usually live stream and obviously the nerve center of the Shoki Cave, so my computer, where I do all my editing and streaming and everything else like that. So there's my uh, light for doing live streams. There's the microphone and all that. My old school tripod that I used forever to just when I first started doing my reviews. That and a different one. That's not actually a, a pill bottle that's full of batteries and LEDs and stuff that are scavenged from things. Just Darth Maul's head and cloak. Random bits and pieces and something you guys never see. So when I do these action figure reviews and it comes with a ton of spare parts, this is where they go. <laughs> so like spare hands and bits and things like that even a trunk sword and spare heads and stuff like that and that's not even all of it that's just that one so we're gonna go back to this side of the room starting with the newest billies so if i come up to the top that's my mac fans toys um grimlock along with the gerd lagan simon's drill which is still one of my favorite things ever and then if you watch me actually do this stuff, so here is my Beast Box collection so far, minus one that I've yet to review. Then come down to my Dragon Ball, Dragon Stars shelves, quote-unquote good guys, quote-unquote bad guys, of which the bad guys are the ones who keep falling now, but the good guys, most of them are tacked in place. And then the backlog, as it were. We're going to not really look too close at that. And then coming up to the top of the next shelf. I have to be careful because of the fan, which I'm sure you can hear. So I got rid of my Pokemon uh, Mega Blocks that were up there. My buddy Eric took those the other day. But I had to move my Black Knight, Spawn, and my Kylan Riders up here just to have another shelf space. Then I've got my Flame Toys kit and figure shelf, which... When my next one comes in, I'm going to be totally out of room. Mind you, I have a couple to build as well, so I'm going to have to reorganize that. And then teasers, because the Devastator reviews and Constructicon reviews are going on concurrently right now. So that's how things will end up, just so you can see that. So that's my New Age and um, Magic Square Legends collection. Coming down to my Planet X guys. So that's the Autobots and Dinobots for the most part. And then Marvel Legends, Shelf 1, so Fantastic Four, Venom Wave, um, Hulkbuster Wave, Moon Knight back there just for the heck of it, some Black Panther, uh, and then some X-Men tucked away, and then a little bit more backlog, and then my leftover Dioders. And then coming all the way back up here, some of my four inch world of nintendo figures at least the ones that stayed up there there's more of them there along with uh the castle and then grocery gang figures and then my mp uh transformer shelf along with uh grandpa gundam there then the siege uh power of the primes and some titans return stuff more siege figures here then my Planet X Decepticons, mostly just the Seekers, and uh, Triptychon, along with some Takara, Optimus, and Ultra Magnus. Then Marvel Legends, you know, second shelf, just all kinds of stuff, Deadpool, 
uh, Vulture, build a figure, Hulk, and Hulkbuster back there. Mostly Iron Man stuff, Spider Man stuff here. And then the Black Series shelf, which is way too full. You know, I had it split good guys, bad guys, but then I had to make room for all of these things over here. So we'll be seeing uh, Wonder Woman there sometime this week. And then coming up, you get all the Dark Knights. And also this particular shelf will be involved in the next room upgrades that I'll talk about here in a minute. And then the Power Rangers one. So there's my Zeo Rangers and the Build-A-Megazord. Here's my uh, white, red, green Rangers along with Lord Zed and uh, Goldar along with the Legacy Ninja Mega Falcon Zord and the Legacy Green Ranger Communicator. And then come down here, you've got the MMPR shelf. So the regular Rangers and then a Lord Draken who fell over. Honestly, I have no idea how he fell over. He's just standing there. So once again, proving that the Lightning Collection isn't that good. So, uh, Solo Chagokin, Megazord. Come down here, and you've got <laughs> random collection of Psycho Rangers, the NECA Ninja Turtles, and the In Space uh, Mega, or Delta and Astro Mega Ship slash Zords. Then, uh, Dino Thunder? Right? Dino Thunder? And uh, then the uh, Magna Defender. And then just random spaceship shelf. And then while we're down here, here's the tub of nerdiness and random stuff along with the way I have to power my review set and things, which brings us to the review set, which is messy right now because I'm in the middle of reviews. So, upcoming things, sitting here. And of course, if you watched any of my tutorials on how I built this thing, you know, just flip this one switch and everything happens. That is the window that keeps leaking. <laughs> I keep a towel down there for when it does. So, uh, actually, I need to put that. So there's the black background, because I had to move it. I just had to put it somewhere. And, by the way, I wanted to show this off, because I neglected it the other day. This is my new chair that the wifey got me for my birthday. It's nice. It's pretty good. One of the wheels is a little wonky. I can hear it, like, rubbing on itself as I roll around. It's pretty comfy. My old chair is a used, like, $20 chair. Same thing for the secondary chair. So I'm going to get rid of the more broken one and keep the better one. And then that way I'll always have two chairs in here for when we do podcasts or things like that. Now, the thing 90% of you want to see because you think my channel is all about Gundams. So everything up there is essentially empty. So if everybody thinks that's my backlog, it's not. Those are my empty boxes. They're there for storage and for effect basically. Now, when I didn't have as many uh, kits, obviously, wasn't that great. And in fact, this is just the stuff that's out. If you look at the closet, there's a lot more empty boxes in the closet. And also, outside, in a varying number of tubs, is extra boxes and things. Now, the Gunpla Collection. Damn it. Now, for the Gunpla Collection. Now, it's going to be hard to do because this last shelf is right next to the thing. So starting at the end, you've got Strike Freedom and Strike 2.0. There's a Strike 1.1.0 and the Asteroid Blue Frame. Second revise. We come down and now we've got the 2.0 shelf along with some Trans Am Gundams. And we come down even further and you've got Impulse and Destiny and more Trans Am Gundams. And then down to the bottom You've got the build strike, or star build strike, along with the E type uh, GN arms. Yeah, once again, not easy. Now you've got MG and SD and PG double O kits down there, just because this is the latest stuff I've done. I need some more for them to go. Speaking of double O stuff. Here's a lot of the stuff from the last couple years of Double October. So I'm going to display, so I'm just standing there. And coming up, uh, kind of a random bits shelf, so things that don't belong to anything else. You know, different things. Haropla, Naruto, Voltron. Mind you, all these reviews are out there somewhere, so if you haven't seen them, go watch them. Then you come up here, and you've got the little T guys that I won randomly from Bluefin. 
you got War Grim on, but you guys have to wait to see that review. And then my custom Musha back in there. Now coming over to the Build Divers MG shelf, along with a few other random HGs from Build Divers. Then technically an SD. So oddly enough, the Chena guy is the wife built and I never reviewed. So if you guys want to see a review of that, spam the comments. And then more Build Diver HGs, depending on the series. I'm sorry, Build Divers, Build Fighters. And I discovered I had never reviewed Denial, and I don't think I've ever done Kamiki Burning. Or Tri Burning, one of those. I have not done. If not, maybe both I haven't done. And then the Bear Guy and Petite Guy shelf, which needs to be reorganized. And somebody told me that there's some, uh, like a company that will make insert to add more shelves so you can really cram more things at a detail. I might have to look into that. And then down here is the age shelf. Uh, except for the, the lightning Gundam, obviously that's just in there because I'm out of room. But for the most part, I got my MG age kits and then the ones we've looked at recently. And then I'm going to sit down in my chair for this. We got the IBO Season 1 display, so if you're familiar, when I first started reviewing IBO at the beginning of my channel, you saw this display come together. Go watch that playlist if you haven't. And coming up here, we got Build Divers, and then uh, Wing Zero, Wing Proto Zero, technically speaking, regular Wing Gundam, and Epion. Just kind of crammed in there, once again, out of space. Come up here, and you've got the original Tall Geese display, along with Sandrock, Leo, Magranok, and uh, <laughs> Random Grays. Because I'm out of space. Once again, we're just going to keep saying it. And then the Gundams from Endless Waltz. Pretty much all of them. P Bandai, regular. As you know, those were very popular. And then we come to the Double O stuff. So my original three. Double O MGs, uh, well, technically speaking, the Double O back there, the Seven Swords-ish version, version, is a fusion of two different sets. And then we come down here to more modern Double October stuff, you guys should know. So, the uh, the Astraeas and the Tyrants, double more Tyrants. And then from Double October 1, all of these kits, with the exception of this guy who was actually from... Uh, double October 2017 or 2018 and then once again you can see that display come together in the first double October and then the Graham Acre suits along with just basically everything that can kind of transform ish so there's the original Graham Acre uh, set and then you have Graham's uh, custom flag a regular Union flag the regular Brave and the Enact the Ali Al Suchis, and I just realized that the, his gun has popped out of his hand. Wasn't a great connection, anyways. And then the SD shelf, which you can tell is pretty dang full, even including that new guy from Double October this year. Oh, yeah, I have a table behind me. Gotta get super careful. Okay, now IBO stuff. So, this is where the season two bits and a couple of things from season one down there from the. Uh, Roe and things like that. And you can see back there the, the actual lighting power source for this whole set of Detolfs. And then come up here to like basically the Ariane Rod IBO set here. Basically everything that they could use. And then we come up to the first of the custom shelves. So you guys should recognize almost all of these things. So you've got the ball and cup, the one legged. Uh, Final Battle Banshee, my Christmas Gundam, the uh, Angel Guy, which is back to his regular body. So that was the wings are the ones that were on my uh, Christmas Gundam this year, Tree Topper. Then back there is my uh, what did I call that? That's the uh, is it the double? That's not the Double O Build Strike. That's the um. I forgot what I called that one, but it was the big sword version because I took my seven swords bits there. So it is one of my fusions of, oh yeah it is, that's my double O build strike. So that's a build strike with the double O combined with my custom uh, backpack on it and then added on 
the big swords and stuff. So, sorry, I was confused. And then the other custom shelf. So, you know, the things that I've done for the channel. So, from Double October, you've got Grand Page, you got Busted Haro, my Weathered Gun Tank, Demon King Barbatos, GN GNXS, the tractor back there, and then there's the double uh, O uh, full package. <laughs> then the dry on three angle, and of course the Gray's Karaibata, my first custom on this channel, which of course is still my logo. And then over here we've got a nice big MG Zionic type shelf, along with of course the uh, Castle Custom 3.0. So that's my Sananju Sazabi. Uh, Johnny Ridden, Raiden, Char, Zaku, and then the old uh, Goof Custom. Actually, the wife built that. That's her only Master Grade she's ever done. And then coming down here, we got some more Xeon Forces. Some of these the wifey built, some of them I built. So she did the Rosen Zulu um, and the Zaku 2 over there, the Black TriStar version. Everything else I've done, of course. Go watch all these reviews. This guy, I don't think I've technically really reviewed. I, I've mentioned him on a live stream before, showed him off a little bit, but I was planning on customizing him. I just haven't. And then you come down here to my Thunderbolt Xeon shelf. So, you know, my nice, really weathered. One of my first big forays into weathering, and I did it randomly. I randomly started weathering this guy as I was building him, and just went from there. And, of course, the Zaku Big Gun. And now we got more IVO stuff. So this is just... Uh, just different forces as you go. Ugh. And then here's my HGUC, quote-unquote, good guys, <laughs> for the most part. And you guys should recognize most of those reviews. And we come up here, and this is mostly the wife's stuff. So she's done uh, virtually all of these. I did the Moon Gundam, of course. Uh, G. Lucifer, uh, Nobel Gundam, and... Uh, uh, what's her name? Isla's, Isla's suit from the thing. Actually, I've never done Miss Sazabi either, so there's stuff that I still have never reviewed that if you guys want to see, let me know. Now, of course, come up here to my Thunderbolt shelf where my revived grandpa ended up. He's not actually supposed to be on that shelf. I just kind of stuck in there. And then we come up to here, so other random MGs. So we've got the Verka New, the 3.0 Grandpa, the, uh... That guy, Crossbones, the G-Frame new, and of course the two balls that I've built. So there's that. And then coming over here to the modern UC stuff. So the three MG Unicorns, Silver Bullet, where you're coming. Uh, Jagan Echoes type, RG Unicorn. MG Jagan, Banshee Norn, Full Armor Unicorn. Yeah, I'm hitting a box. <laughs> then my AOC shelf. You guys should know all of these by now. For the most part. <laughs> Review's still coming. <laughs> now that I keep saying these things. And then more customs down here with the, and of course, the uh, Glitch Busters and the Star Destroyer. <sighs> which brings us to the closet, which is just stuff. Okay, guys, so that's it for the room tour. I'm sweaty now because I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. By the way, still wearing the Glitch Buster shirt that Thomas gave me for my birthday, which is actually a really fun uh, thing. So, you know, <laughs> it's like he got me one of his own shirts last year for Christmas, uh, which was a fine gift. You know, it's funny, but I don't really wear it. I more or less just kind of keep it around because um, it's the I'd rather wear, I'd rather be building Gumpla shirt, which is a fun shirt, don't get me wrong. This is cooler, and plus it's a thing we did together, so I like that. Now, let's talk real quick about future stuff. So I mentioned this shelves here for the Batman Dark Knight's Metal stuff. So, if you guys don't know, I watch Bobby Skullface videos. I've uh, been a fan of his for a long time. We've talked uh, for a one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, nerdcast. I've, I've talked to him a few other times. Or, you know, I, I try to keep in decent contact with him. He's a cool. He's a really cool cat. Plus, he's like on it when it comes to his display game, especially for his Star Wars and Transformers. He's building dioramas, but for the most part, he uses Billy shelves like these, which of course is 
mostly where I saw it. I already had the DTOLF, the abilities were the next upgrade because I was tired of putting things in DTOLFs. So, uh, he had already wired up most of his displays with LEDs, like he bought LED strip, wired up everything, had to do all the soldering, the, all the mess. And it looked fine, but it wasn't very clean and wasn't super consistent. So, for, I think he said Christmas, probably birthday as well, because his, bir his birthday is in December, um, his wife pitched in, or at least got him these, new lights that are made for the billies they're actually ikea lights stuff like that and it is is this the right thing nope that's the power source these norfly leds so these are made for closets and cabinets now these are pretty cool these are this is the 14 inch variety and basically will fit exactly the shelves of the skinny billies they go all the way up to a 36 inch wide one which these billies aren't big enough for that I believe I can get the 26 inch in those because those are like 33 inches wide, something like that. Um, but these are going to be my upgrade. So I, he did a full tutorial video on how they did uh, his, didn't include a parts lift because he's a silly bitch like that. Love you, Bobby. <laughs> so I got his parts list for him looking up the different things and just going by in the video what they used. And I got the parts list there. So I went to Ikea yesterday. I grabbed... Uh, a set of these lights, the power hub, so to speak, the power plug. I did not get the little remote control because I already have, as you guys have seen, I have a remote control already and I have three plugs. But I believe I have an empty spot on the detail hole over there. So in that corner is the uh, plugs that I used to light the first set of detolfs. And then over here is the next set of detolfs. I believe that I have one open, at least one open spot on that six way over there. And I can just power it that way. That way when I turn on the detolf, these will turn on as well. And you can, the cool thing is you can chain, you can chain these things together. So they go to the hubs, is this the hub thing? So the hub has nine outlets which is pretty cool. So you can do a billy and a half, it's six shelves. You can do a billy and a half per one, then you can chain it to the next one and it just acts as another power plug. So I could do my entire wall of billies just continually chaining it and I could just hit one button and they'd all come on. They also have a motion sensor. So like if you set it up in your closet, stuff like that, you walk in, the lights come on. That's pretty sweet, but I'm not gonna use that option. So I'm gonna be doing a whole video on how to install these things and how to use them and everything like that, but I'm gonna be lighting up my Dark Knight's metal shelves. Um, with the exception of Wonder Woman, because I wasn't paying attention and I only grabbed five, not six. Because <sighs> I'm a silly bastard. I grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed five. Um, and then by the time I realized that I was missing one, the line behind me was so long, I wasn't gonna get out of it. Um, but either way, that's it for the Shoki Cave 2019-2020 room tour. So most of this happened in 2019. Uh, new upgrades. All uh, Virtually all the billies, if I remember correctly, happened all last year. Um, actually, no, I take that back. I believe the first run of billies, the ones in the corner with Power Rangers and stuff, I believe those started Christmas last year. So it's been roughly a year since I started doing the upgrade. So thereabouts, um, I say last year, Christmas 2018, I got those things. So room tour upgrades will continue. I will very slowly be installing all of these, but what I think I'll do because the Power Rangers and the, and the Batman shelves are the same size, I'm going to go ahead and like pre-drill and pre-set it up so that whenever I get the next set um, and the next like power brick and stuff like that, I'll be ready to go and I'll be able to go ahead and finish off that, uh, that section in the corner. Now, these things are not cheap. They're not, it's like the problem with Ikea is their stuff is nice and good and efficient and not cheap so just the just the light just this right here this one package is twenty dollars i have five of these then i have the power brick then i have the power cord then i have you know all the little things and of course if you don't use the remote control plug and stuff like that then you're saving some money so give you an idea of what it costs to do a single shelf but i guess once you have it initially started 
good to go. Done talking about that. I've got to get around to editing more videos. I have to shoot a few more. Um, I'm supposed to be on vacation this week, but I'm not going to take it as usual. And Friday, uh, being you know of this of this week, I will be hanging out with Rodimus Thirteen over at his shelf space, and we're going to be cleaning up and redoing his shelf space room because he realized he's out of space and he's not using it to the best of his abilities. Um, so we're going to be redoing that. We'll probably be doing a video on that over on his channel. So look forward to that. Look forward to the upgrades video coming eventually on my channel, probably on a Saturday video, if I had to guess. Uh, this might be on a Saturday video as well. So yay. Thanks for uh, subscribing. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. And by all means, if you want to become a patroneer, please do because as it stands i've had to turn off my targeted ads to make sure that i'm more compliant with kappa especially given the stuff that i do it's not targeted to kids kids could watch it all that stupid jazz um but if you would like to help out for at least a dollar a month it would be great um but i do appreciate my three patroneers who have stuck with me every month and i'm doing more stuff for them like they'll see this video before the rest of you people They'll see a lot of other stuff. They get to choose things like what comes out of my backlog next, things like that. So catch you guys later. Remember as always to keep on nerding, to keep on building, and let's keep building this nerd cave together. See you later.